In this video, I want to go through making a dark theme for FreeCAD in Windows. I should have already published a video for FreeCAD themes in Ubuntu. So this is a follow-up if you have Windows and you know, want to be able to uh, install it there. Uh, the first thing is to open up this link, and I'm going to put this link in the description. This goes to the FreeCAD forum with some downloads. You should probably have these themes pre-installed in your FreeCAD, but if you don't, I'll run you through how to implement them and how to modify them so you can get a custom link like I put my logo here in FreeCAD. Um, so the first thing to do is uh, download this link here, version 1.8a or whatever version that you'd like. And go to your FreeCAD install folder and then say data, GUI, and you should have a folder called style sheets. If you don't have a folder called style sheets, make a folder called style sheets with that exact spelling. And then uh, once you've made your folder, just paste whatever you downloaded from this link into here, which should look like this, minus this, which is my own theme. So you have all of these themes. Now you can go edit, preferences, and under style sheets, you can choose your own theme, right? So this is no style sheet, just how FreeCAD comes. And you can add like a dark green. I really like the dark green. That's that's pretty sharp, you know. So you have you have options. Uh, but how would you want to make your own theme? Well, let's go through that. The first thing I do is I choose a base theme that I like, right? I liked dark blue, so I said control C, control V, and I continued with administrator permission and uh, dark blue copy, and then I just renamed that to Joko theme, right? So we're going to delete that. Next, I chose a color. So I've got this link in HTML color codes where you can act, and I'm going to put this link in the description too, but you can actually choose a color and it gives you the HTML code that is associated with that color. So let's say we want something kind of zany, right? Uh, in the last video I did kind of a zany purple, maybe in this video I'll do a, a green. That's a nice green, so I'll control C. And then uh, you just open this with notepad, right? You, you select notepad to open this and you come on down here. And under main window, this is your background color. 323232 is what I currently have. I'm gonna control V and now it's 000FC54, right? This nice little color right here. And we're going to say save. Now, no style sheet, apply. Let's reload it, apply. And now I have this really bright green. Uh, so you, you, this is probably too bright for most people, <laughs> but. Hey, if it, if it works for you, then you can begin uh, modeling using this theme. And then the question is, how do I change the FreeCAD logo to your own image? And what you have to do is use an SVG converter. So I just went online, I typed in convert PNG to SVG, uploaded my file, downloaded the SVG since it converted it for me. And uh, in the images dark light folder, went into that. And uh, there's my SVG file that I converted. So this is the custom picture that I want to show up in FreeCAD. And then I can actually uh, just keep this open. In Style Sheets, uh, under the same area, main window, that I just updated my color, I came down here and simply, after dark light slash, typed the name of the file and its extension and replaced whatever came after that slash. And uh, that automatically told FreeCAD to load the logo that I have in that folder. And so it's pretty easy to add your own logo and to make your own color. Uh, so if I change my theme, to maybe something like dark blue, you see the FreeCAD logo comes by default and I simply replace that FreeCAD logo with my channel logo. It was easy, it was quick, it was great. So I hope this video was helpful. If it was, please I'll see you in the next one.